Hey y'all, hey, we're back here with Wild Child, and as many of you know, we went to, Jen and I went to Trail Hero without having the Jeep finished. We put it on the back of the bus, and we went down, the bus was kind of done, not really, but it was just, it was enough to where we could use it, got to check it out, and we got to travel with Wild Child on the back because she was on her own feet, but we didn't have steering. So, or exhaust, or gas tank, or anything actually, we just, she, it wasn't done. So, um, I made a call out to PSC. Apparently, you know, my my shouts were fell on deaf ears um, because I kind of figured that I was going to end up needing to go with the hydro steer system on this because of the fact that we pushed the front axle so far forward on the Jeep that we couldn't find. I couldn't figure out how to do a how to get the uh, steering to work. So what ended up happening was I started looking around at possibilities. And since there has been hydro, hydraulic steering on tractors since God walked the earth on flip-flops, uh, I figured what the hell, I'll just put together my own hydro, hydraulic steer system. And I, there I found a, a steering actuator and a uh, ram for damn good price. Um, and everything else. So now what I'm doing is I've got to truss out the front end in order for the for the hydro steer, and I'm doing my all my own truss kit, and it's going to be a combination of flat steel and tube, so I can mount the ram on it. So part of the issue with doing hydro steer is you have to truss out the front axle, and which means building something that comes from this end over here and all this so that you have something to mount level or flat that you can mount the the uh hydraulic ram to so what i'm doing is i'm in the process of building the truss i lost the video of setting everything up so what i do have is my my cad program right here pretty close to that all right so that's what I'm going to do. And I cut out the pieces and got this fab. So far. So I initially had made templates in order to decide my design for what was going to be my uh, gussets. These are going to be this will be the passenger side gusset. This will be the driver side gusset. And there's going to be two of them on the front and the back of that plate structure I made. So what I did was I cut one of each out. And then I traced what I cut out onto my, my piece because I want these to match. And I'm afraid that if I try to trace it out of cardboard a second time that the cardboard may give me a different may flex or whatever
up and gas is on, so we're gonna go ahead and get to work. Let's do some welding.